So what we're doing here in your kitchen is um, talking about the work that I share, um, a communication model based on the work of Dr. Marshall, Ro Marshall Rosenberg. And um, many people know that model by the name nonviolent communication, right? And uh, NDC. Some people know it by the name compassionate communication. And I have some hesitation about both of those names as a way of uh, describing what it is that I'm trying to do. Just because um, nonviolent describes what the work is not, it doesn't say much about what it is. And compassionate, compassion is totally at the heart of this, of this way of communicating, but it maybe conveys um, to people that they would have to give up on being assertive in some way if they wanted to use this kind of communication. And that's not my intention. Um, so I like to refer to it sometimes as connected communication because that describes for me what it is that I'm attempting to do when I uh, communicate this way myself and what I'm attempting to convey to others. Uh, so whatever we call this communication model, what actually is it is the question. and. Again, interestingly, uh, I notice that to a large extent what I'm suggesting to people is that when they're in a stressful conversation or a fight, an argument, anything where they're finding that their communication is not going the way that they want, that a lot of the time what I'm basically saying to people is, look, you can talk however you like most of the time, you know, like it works for you, just say whatever you're saying. Um, but if you're really clear that it's not working for you or not working for the other person, then shrink down your available options down to just three options. That's, that's essentially what I'm saying to people. And the practice is in actually, um, it's maybe more difficult to, to shrink down and turn away from all the normal things that you do, you know, uh, blaming people or persuading people or criticizing people, making demands of people, uh, telling stories, telling jokes, all of these other options, many, many options, to shrink it down to just these three options. And the three options are, how am I doing at this moment? We call it self-empathy or self-connection. How am I doing right now? How's the other person doing right now? call this empathy. What might be going on with them, this other person who's talking to me? And the third uh, choice, just expressing honestly what you got in touch with when you checked in, how am I doing? I can now actually express that to the other person, honestly. And uh, that creates a simplicity, basically, which also, strangely enough, creates much more potential for connection between you and the other person which will then lead more frequently to uh, some kind of useful outcome that you both enjoy. So that's what we want to look at some more.